is going on, everybody? Just a savage here from Crazy Cover Gaming. Welcome back to another South Park The Fractured Butthole Let's Play video. And today we are going to be tackling episode two of our South Park The Fractured Butthole Let's Play series. Before we get started with this video, I do want to tell you guys to go down there and smash the like, subscribe, and notification bell button so that you can stay in the loop from whenever I post up goofy, outlandish, out of the world content such as this video that you are about to see. Also, um,. I know I haven't made another video in a couple of days. I've just been busy with work and stuff like that. But um, I'm, I'm hoping to do videos a little bit more often and um, just keep on pumping out content for you guys. Now, I do want to give a, a quick disclaimer for this video. Um, I do want to say that the first thing that we are going to be doing um, requires us to do something that involves uh, seeing questionable pictures. Um, luckily, I already know um, the combination because there is a combination that you need in order to get down into Eric's basement, which we're going to right now. But in order for you to do that, you need to go through Cartman's diary. And if any of you are familiar with South Park, uh, you all you already know that Cartman has a pretty evil, pretty twisted and perverted mind. So we're not going to bother to do that because I already know what the um, I already know what the combination is. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So in the last video, we made our character, as you can see right here. And um, oh, hello. The and um, so, as you can see, you can interact with the different characters. If you see at the bottom of the screen, if you it's, if you can talk to many of the characters in this game by pressing X when you walk up to them, we have some things to look into. And, um, coon cakes, which are consumable. Um, we also have something over here. Uh, we're gonna go upstairs. We're not gonna go into Cartman's room. But there is some stuff up here. We also have Cartman's cat kitty. He's sleeping underneath the the table. We can go into um, Mrs. Cartman's room, and we can just look through all of her stuff and take and take stuff like we you know we can just steal stuff, and nobody will be none the wiser because this is South Park. They don't really care. Here is um, the here are the Cartman's bathroom. There is an achievement that you can get that if you can crap in every single toilet in South Park you will be awarded a, a special achievement so I'm just doing this for the sake of um, I'm just doing this you know for the sake of laughs and stuff like that so so um, all you have to do to do these things is that you have to look at what the game is telling you um, how to uh, y how to do the mini games like what buttons to press and, and stuff like that and if you can do it correctly, you will be able to complete the challenge and um, to and successfully take a dump. So, <laughs> yeah. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, um, now we're gonna go down. St actually, we're gonna go into Cartman's room, and don't worry, I'm not going to actually do that thing. I'm not going to look at it. Um, press square to punch cracked objects. We learned that in the tutorial stage in the last um, episode. Um, so we created our character in the last episode. We then went through the tutorial and the battle system and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so we we um, so we've just been so we so we got through the so we basically got through the um, beginning yesterday like the beginning segment yesterday and so we're going to um, start the next one right now so I had to check something on my phone real quick but um, the combination is three zero and seven. Hey Tom Brady, you want to play the game or do you just want to be known as a smug cheating bitch the rest of your life? <laughs> Oh my, that is you, mom. That is bad. Okay, so I guess you just want to Tom Brady your way through the whole game. What's the matter? Can't do it on your own. Oh man, do we really have to do this? Do we really have to do this? You, mom. Is this fun for you, Tom Brady? 
Let's just keep doing it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I, I actually haven't done this before. I've never done this, like, before. So, let's see what happens. Okay. Fuck. You, mom. You broke the me, me. Okay, okay, guys. Um, how about this? If it does that one more time, um, I'm going to cut it here, go do the thing, and then when I come back, I will already have the code, and I will be able to get into Eric's basement without you guys having to see any icky stuff. So, um... Of course, this is South Park the Fractured Butthole. You guys are bound to see a lot of very disgusting stuff. Because it's South Park, you know. But... Okay, so... I will be right back. Okay, I just got the combination, so now we can get in there without the game yelling at us. Okay. Here's another cutscene. Let's watch it. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat is pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anywhere. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away! Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig! Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on... ...fast <laughs> to get there... ...to bed. Me. Okay, so this is basically where we become a superhero. Because in order to play this game that these that the kids are playing, we have to become a superhero. So yeah. Super Craig, Super Craig this is Coon. Do you copy? Super Craig, the fuck are you? I repeat, the fuck are you, Super Craig? Oh wait. Now the security system isn't working? Dude, what the fuck? Ordinary citizens aren't allowed in the coon layer. We're playing superheroes now, and you aren't a superhero, new kid, so... Fuck off, okay? <laughs> Alright, look, you can watch us play superheroes, as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephanasy device. It's over there. Okay, so this is basically where we're introduced to inspection mode. Enter inspection mode to find objects of interest by holding L2. So when you hold L2, the screen becomes like this, and you have this cursor, which you can use to look around at different objects and analyze things. So here we found the Stephernacy device. You seriously can't find the Stephernacy device? Us superheroes use inspection mode, you know. And so... So now that we have that, now that we have the Stephernacy device, we can talk to Cartman. Well, that took long enough. Stephernacy device active. <laughs> you really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Okay. Let's so now... ADLs. Jesus Christ. Are these even in a human language? So now right, we can make our character a superhero. You have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. I can't believe it. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are you? Since you're a newbie, you can only choose between three for now. Okay, so, as Cartman just said, we get to choose our first class. Now, I believe that in this whole game, you get to choose up to three classes as the game goes on. So, for this character, we're going to make him a Brutalist. The Brutalist is a close-range brawler, specializing in fist-related injuries and hitting enemies into near-Earth orbit. <laughs> so, we're going to choose Brutalist. Good choice for you.
So now that we've chosen Brutalist, you can see the different kinds of attacks that we can pull off. So, this, so basically the next segment is going to teach us how to play as our class. And it's going to be funny all the same. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk to the mirror. You walked to the mirror. Nah, so as you can see, this is okay, supposed to be your character's... This is supposed to be your character's, like, past, quote-unquote. And... Okay, just walk up. No, not there. No. And... And... Oh, Cartman is basically telling the story of your superhero character, but I'm just goofing around with him because, you know... Yeah. It's Cartman, so... <laughs> um... So yeah, as you can see, we can interact with this past world and stuff like that, but we're gonna go to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. Oh my god. <laughs> Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them, so for the first time you called upon your super strength powers. So, when we press square, we can do the standard attack of a Brutalist. Now, I've never played a Brutalist before, so please, just bear with me. If you can press, if you can, if you can press the uh, X button at the end of a of a person's current of a person's turn, you can actually heal your character somewhat. Why did I know that there was going to be an attack like that for the Brutalist? So if we press L1, we can use our ultimate attack. Every character that you fight with has an ultimate attack. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late. Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That's, That's terrible. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? Alright, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Coonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. Okay. So as you can see, our character can wear a many different variety of costumes. The has just been updated. You should visit the Keenster. And I think I said that before. Um 
But there is a specific set that I do want to get for our character, and that is the um, where where is it? I don't th I don't think you can get it just yet. But now that we are a brutalist, we can start going outside and we can start talking to people. So this is going to introduce us to how to use Coonstagram and how to get followers on Coonstagram. Collect followers by getting people to take selfies with you. Hold L2 to find people to take selfies with. You can take selfies with people that have a camera icon above their heads. To request a selfie, approach someone and press R1. So if we come over to this old lady right here and we press R1, we'll be able to take a selfie with her. Now in selfie mode, you can do a multitude of different things. You can move the camera around, you can zoom in and out to make it closer or farther away. You can even change your character's mood. And once you are satisfied with the results, you press R1 to take the picture, and the person that you took the selfie with will follow you on Coonstagram. Oh, now, if we press the touchpad on our PS4 controller, you can see that we have a different variety of apps that we can choose from, such as the Coonstagram app, the inventory map, the settings and gallery, the settings and gallery, costumes, and the character sheet. So, if we press Coonstagram with X, we can see that that is like a social media app that you can see like the different pictures and stuff like that. You can even press it's triangle to see all of the people that are currently following you. And the more people that you have following you with you on Coonstagram, the more popular you'll become and the more people you'll be able to have selfies with. So it's really oh, cool. Uh, sorry, I don't follow just anyone on social media. So right now we only have one person, but we can change that. Hey, By you got it open. So You're by opening this mailbox, so by opening this mailbox for this man, selfie? we can take sure, a selfie with him because we helped him. Certain people will only take selfies with you if you do things for them. So, yeah, it's actually really cool. So now that we have a couple of followers, we can get even more people. Okay, I guess you're popular enough to selfie with. And you just keep on going around and getting people to follow you on social media. But this isn't all you do. I mean, there are plenty of things to do in this game. Well, I guess we have enough mutuals that we can selfie. Kevin Stoley. Not bad, but Hope. You're gaining followers pretty fast. Keep up the good work. I'm still having trouble reaching some of the Kuhn friends. You might want to see what's going on. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can now go over to the map app. And this is the map of South Park. This will be a, this map will show you the different locations that you can go to, the different shops. It will also show you areas of interest and will also show you what your primary and secondary objectives are. You can press square to find a selected mission on the map. So if we wanted to go do the chains of Super Craig, we could press square and it, it will show us where that um, where that locate where the quest is taking place and what might level the que the quest is I'll go over might in a later episode but um, probably in the next episode because might increases with different things that you equip on your character and I'm talking about artifacts but we'll get into artifacts probably in the next episode so the chains of super Craig are over there and we can press X to pin a mission's location on the map so, pinned missions will send you notifications when their objectives are updated. And, pr and please pardon that beeping in the background, that's just my washer. But, um, so, so now that we have, 
the, and so now that we have that and pin that as an active mission, we can go over there and we can do the mission with with Super Craig. We can also press the L1 button while in the field to access the mini map, and this will basically give us a basic understanding of where everything is without having for us to go into our phone. But for, before we go do that, we're gonna have these guys follow us. Okay, I guess you're popular enough to selfie with. Johnny. We're friends now, I guess. And there are small little things that that you can do, like the influencer perk, like that one in like influencer. That one increases the more people that you selfie with. Okay, we can get a selfie together. And there's also ones for like um costumes and farts and stuff like that. There's just a plenty of things to do in this game and it's all so funny. Andre. So now that we've taken pictures So now that we've taken pictures with these guys and gotten them to follow us on Coonstagram, we can now start making our way um, to access more stuff. We can't do anything in there yet because we don't have any buddies yet or anything like that, but believe me, we are gonna be getting some of that stuff in the later episode. There are even there are containers and stuff like that all over the world that hold different stuff and oh my gosh. Okay, this guy needs to be taught a lesson. Okay, let's teach this guy a lesson. You want to be a bully, huh? Pressing X during an enemy attack builds your ultimate meter faster and triggers health recovery. Press X now to try it. <coughs> That's what I was trying to explain earlier, but I couldn't do it very well. So once again, the game explained something better than I could. And that's basically how you take care of bullies down here in Colorado. Yeah. Defeat 10 6th graders. We have 9 to go. So now that we've saved the guy from the bully, we can take a selfie with him. Peter Mullen. Watching you defeat that sixth grader was so cool. Maybe I can become as strong as you one day. Okay, so we can't get in there just yet. So we're going to continue over this way. Oh, yes, and you can even press R1 even when you're not talking to people to take pictures of yourself you and approaching. your surroundings. Super Craig, fortress of solitude. Super Craig hasn't checked in. I hope nothing's wrong. So, if you can take a look behind this snow, you can punch this snow away and you'll be able to open up this, um, this, uh, thing over here. And this is the Divine Amplifier Recipe, and that's a recipe for an artifact, but like I said, um, we're going to go over, um, we're going to go over artifacts in a later episode. Greetings, citizen. It is I, Super Craig. I'm sorry, but I cannot assist anyone with their problems right now. Super Craig, 
can't find his guinea pig. Go tell the coon that I'm not playing until I find Stripe. He's not just a normal guinea pig. He belongs to me and my ex-boyfriend. That's right, Super Craig is gay. I'll bet Stripe is down in the basement. Oh my. <laughs> we should start in the basement. That's the last place I saw it. I'm thinking maybe he... Okay, so welcome to Super Craig's basement. So in here, we're, we have to okay, find right, Stripe. Keep it from escaping. You do the rest, butthole. So in order to do this, we are going to need these. These are called Snappin' Pops. So now we can use the Snappin' Pops to interact with the world and destroy certain objects. So whenever you see a sparkly, a sparkly, over something, that means that you can interact with it by using something in inspection mode. So in this case, we can press the square button to throw a Snappin' Pop and basically knock the ukulele off the wall. And that will give us some loot, which we can pick up later. But we can also use the Snap and Pops to destroy this ventilation shaft. Oh, Do it again. And now we can use the Snap and Pops to basically knock the guinea pig on down to the ground. So now we can go over here and break this box. And as you can oh, see, amazing. and if Where you can... And this is the fireworks. If you can hit these fireworks with your snap and pops, it will ignite them and basically blow up this thing. I can't believe you just did that. You're so good at this. So we can come over here and we and we can oh, it's a charango. Well, never mind. So now we can basically hold on to this and we can drag this out of the way. And so now so basically, just like what Super Craig just said, we can use the power of our farts to basically get him out of the vent by pressing the triangle. Yes, Stripe, a brilliant rescue. But it wasn't just me. We have Butt Lord and his sickening asshole to thank. Thanks, man. If you ever need help, you can count on Super Craig. So now, Super Craig is our combat buddy. That means that he will help us in combat. We will no longer be the only one fighting crime in battle. New kid. Okay, so basically we just took some money from this guy's house, and now we're going to talk to this guy. Hey there, are you one of Craig's friends? You looking for Craig? Me? Let's just say I'm an art collector specializing in a delightfully modern and extremely confusing Asian art form known as Yaoi. Crazy, right? But this stuff is worth a fortune to the right buyer. If in your adventures you find any of these, bring them to me. I will reward you handsomely. Okay. Come back with any new pieces you find. So now we have a side quest that we got from Craig's dad, which basically has us going around South Park and collecting pieces of Yaoi. So, I think that's all we're going to be doing for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Like I said at the beginning, like and subscribe and, and click the notification bell button so that you will be notified whenever I post up a new video. Also, um, um, go, also don't forget to go check out my, uh, gr uh, the group channel that I'm part of, Crazy Color Gaming. And um, check out everybody else's channels on that as well. And um, until next time, guys, this is just the Savage, a.k.a. the Spectrum Gamer. God bless.